Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert, one of the pastors here, and I'm just so grateful that you're tuning in. I'm grateful that you, uh, whether this is your first time or this is a regular rhythm, that you're taking just a few minutes to, to process and understand who God is and hopefully understand the significance of who God is. Uh, see, I, I worked with teenagers for about a decade, and uh, one of my challenges that I always felt working with teenagers is helping them understand that God is significant and important and, and, and really, really important at that. Uh, there was always this kind of underlying tension of, okay, but so what? And now that I've moved out of working with teenagers on a daily basis, I realize it's not really a teenager thing. It's kind of an everybody issue of we all have to get to a place of understanding the significance and importance of God and what role he plays in our life. But I always find that it starts with understanding uh, who God is as a person and his role and how we got to this place before we look at the difference that he makes in our life. And I share all that because Psalm 24 has been such a great psalm for me to understand the significance of who God is and how big and important He is in our world. And it starts off reminding us of the history of God's involvement in our world. Psalm 24 verse 1 says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and those who dwell within, for He has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. See, the, the, the world that we live in, we're not here by chance. We're not here as an accidental uh, coincidence of science. We're here as part of intelligent design and intentionality by a creator. Everything we have, the mountains, the seas, the, the lake that I get to look at here in Lake Havasu every day as I drive around is here because God created the topography and the landscape of this world. Uh, you and I are here as individuals because God worked to, to make that happen. Everything that exists, it says, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Everything is because of God. So where does that take us? It takes us to the end of the psalm. It should take us to this place where it says, Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Verse 8. Verse 10 says, Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Re reflecting and realizing who God is, what he has done in our world should take us to where the psalm goes of worshiping him and saying, you are the king of glory. You are the king of everything. You are the most important thing that exists in this world. And we're going to give you our adoration and our praise. And I don't know where you're at on your journey. I don't know if your heart runs quickly to the place of praise to God, or if you're still questioning if he's real and important in your life. But I pray that wherever you're at, you would reflect on what God is doing around us and, and reflecting on the fact that we're here because of God, that you would then see what God is doing in your own life, and it would lead you to a place of praise, of realizing that God is the King of glory, who is strong and mighty and worthy of our praise. I hope that you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.